Have you ever come across those organic shapes floating in digital space? Those are the famous 3D blobs, dynamic abstract figures that have become super popular in modern design. This time, inspired by amazing projects from our community, we'll show you how to create a colorful animated 3D blob and also how to make it more interactive by having its shape react to your cursor movement. To create this blob, we'll use the Shape Blend feature. First, let's delete this rectangle since we won't need it. And you can turn off the grids and helpers in the global settings. Now click on the plus icon here in the toolbar. Then choose the Shape Blend option here and a sphere will show up in your scene. When using Shape Blend, you can pick and create any of these shapes like torus, cylinders, and cubes. But for this example, we're just going with spheres. Let's keep this sphere in the center as our main sphere, and now we'll add a few spheres around it. You can go ahead and click here again to make a new sphere, then use the gizmo to move it around and scale it however you like. Or you can also quickly duplicate a sphere by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Unlike primitive geometric shapes, shapes created with Shape Blend have, let's say, more visual flexibility. And you can easily merge shapes to create more fluid forms like the 3D blob we're making. Now let's try adding some color. First click on the Shape Blend group. Now let's head over to the right sidebar. This is where you'll see all the property panels. And this is where you can adjust things like the resolution, blending level, and the color of your shapes. For resolution, you've got options from low to very high. And here you'll also find the blending setting that it helps your shapes connect smoothly. So the higher you set the blending, the more smoothly and naturally the shapes will connect to each other. And right here, you'll find the color property where the material option is selected by default. Keeping it this way means any color or material you choose will be applied evenly to the whole blended shape. But since we want a colorful blob with blended colors, we can click on the children option. This lets you control the material of each shape inside the shape blend group individually, while still keeping a smooth, seamless blend between them. And now we can select one of these spheres and then adjust the color right here in the material panel. And just do the same with the others too. And as you can see, the colors stay individual for each shape, but they still blend and flow nicely with the others. And once you've added your colors, you can always click on the shape blend group to fine tune the resolution or blending of your blob. Not only do the shapes blend, but the colors and textures do too. This lets you achieve smooth transitions and natural gradients as the colors softly merge into one another. Even though we apply the colors individually, we can still add textures or effects that cover the entire design. This is useful if, for example, you want to change the lighting type or add a general texture like shine, reflections, or a lighting effect that applies uniformly to the whole blob. First, make sure to select the Shape Blend group. Then go to the Material panel. And here, by clicking on the plus icon, you can create new material layers. And for example, you can add Fresnel to give your blob a soft glow or a nice shiny edge effect. And this material will be applied to all the shapes, blending with them to create a unified look. You can also use or upload your own matte caps to simulate lighting and shadow or create shiny effects. Click on this icon and set the blending mode to something like overlay. This helps mix the matte cap with the shape's colors and it adds more contrast, making the lights and shadows stand out more. You can also click here to adjust the type of lighting on your shape and then click here to change the color or tone of that lighting. Keep in mind that the order of the materials will affect the final result. Whatever's on top can cover, blend, or modify what's underneath, depending on the blend mode you use. And besides using matte caps or Fresnel, you can also try out other materials like noise. 
Using this material, you can add grainy or micro detail textures to the surface of your blob. Just adjust the size, the blending mode, and if you want, the color, and you'll get an effect like this. So you can try out different ideas and also adjust the blending level depending on the shape and style you want for your blob. Now let's add a bit of movement using state-based animation. We just need to create some states, and then we can set a different position, color, and size in each one so the shape will smoothly transition between them. Let's turn off a few spheres so we can start by animating just one and see how it works. First, select it, then create a new state. Let's keep the position as it is in the base state. And then just click on the new state and change the position and scale using the gizmo. Let's keep it simple with just two states, one as the starting position and one as the ending position of the shape. Now just go here to create a new event. And since we want to create a looped animation that starts playing as soon as the scene loads, we'll keep the start event selected. Now we just click here to create a transition and then set the order we want the animation to follow. In this case, from base state to state. If we now go to play mode, you'll see the sphere moving from one position to another and how the colors also blend smoothly as it moves. The start event by itself triggers actions only once when the scene loads, but we can make some simple adjustments to loop the animation. In the sequence section under loop, select infinite. And under cycle, choose ping pong. And by adjusting the settings like this, you can turn it into a looping animation. Another thing we can adjust is the transition speed. This number here represents the time in seconds it takes to go from the base state to state. So we can change it to something like six to make the transition take that amount of time. Since we're making an animation with shape blends and different colors, slowing it down helps us see the blending effect more clearly during the animation. For this design, we'll keep ease and out selected, but feel free to play around with the easing functions to see what different results you can get. Just click to choose one, like for example, spring, and this will add a small bounce, making the animation feel more fun and playful. You can try this one or play around with other options. Now you can simply repeat the same process we already learned with the rest of the spheres. Just create states and change the position and scale in each one. And here's a tip for when you're creating the transitions. You can copy and paste the same transition onto each sphere. That way they'll all have the same speed and looping effect, but with different positions and movements. And once everything is set up, you'll see how this smooth and fluid animation comes together and the shapes and colors blend and move softly. Now, how can we create this effect where our blob changes shape when we hover the cursor over it? Let's start with a simple example by adding a new sphere, which we can name Follow Sphere. Select your sphere, create a new event, and this time we'll select the Follow event. And just by doing this, the sphere will not only start following the cursor, but it will also keep blending with the rest of the blob. And the colors will keep mixing too, creating this nice dynamic effect. But we can also experiment with different blend operations to achieve distinct visual effects. So far, we've been using the union operation, which joins or merges shapes and colors smoothly. But if we click on the subtract option, we'll see a different result. This operation subtracts the shape from the main blob. So if you select subtract on the follow sphere, you'll get this cool cutout or hollow effect in the blob as you move your cursor over it. And before we finish, here are a few quick tips. You can also change the color of your shapes between each state. So besides movement, you'll also get cool color transitions. 
And of course, you can also explore using other interactive events to trigger these animations. For this example, we have a main sphere and we simply adjust the states of the other spheres around it. In the final position, we change their positions and spread them out to create a burst-like effect. While in the starting position, we make sure to place them inside the main shape so it looks like they're hidden at first and then pop out later. Then we select the main sphere and add a mouse hover event. And there, we add transitions with the other spheres around it as the targets. So when the cursor hovers over the main sphere, the others move out and create this spreading or popping effect. Using shape blend and a bit of creativity, you can create even more fun and interactive designs. Something like this squishy and fun fried egg, for example. Or maybe something like this where you create a blending effect with a word. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite and if you'd like us to show you how to make it. Big thank you to our amazing community for the inspiration behind this tutorial. You can also join our community and share your own creations. You can gain recognition for your designs, even earning an exclusive badge to highlight your creativity and skill. Just join in, share your creations, and you could be one of our designers of the week. And that's it. Now we're all done with this tutorial and hope you had fun and picked up some cool tricks along the way. Thanks for watching, have fun creating, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.